In this video, I will show you how you can mirror or cast the display of your Linux PC to a wireless monitor or smart TV. There are multiple ways how you can do it on Linux, and in this video we will take a look at the GNOME desktop environment and we will set it up on Ubuntu and on Arch, so we will take a look at both. And we will use Wi-Fi peer-to-peer, -peer, also called Wi-Fi Direct, which is a feature of your Wi-Fi adapter, and we will cast the screen to an LG Smart TV running WebOS. But before we start, welcome to the channel, here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links and commands from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. I'm using the GNOME desktop environment and if you're using GNOME and want to wirelessly mirror your display, then there is a tool for that. It's called GNOME Network Displays and this is the official GitLab repository. If we scroll down... So this is an implementation of Wi-Fi Display, aka Miracast. This one is made for the Wayland compositor, but if something goes wrong, it can also work with X11 as a fallback. And it also supports audio streaming. It supports a lot of different devices, like the Miracast receiver, Microsoft 4K wireless display adapter, LG WebOS TV, we will use this one today, and of course Samsung, and a lot of other displays. Now without further ado, let's see how to install this one on Ubuntu and on Arch Linux. I'm running Arch Linux right now, and this is actually running from a USB drive. It's not a live drive, it's a full Arch Linux installation on a USB drive. In a previous video, I showed you how to install that one, so if you want to use a portable Arch Linux on a USB drive yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. I will start with Arch Linux first. On Arch, there are two ways how to install it. You can use the AUR or you can use Flatpak. In this video, I will use the AUR repository. So let's find it. GNOME Network Displays, this is it. Now open the console. Now first things first, if we want to use the AUR, we need to install some dependencies. I will install git and base devil. Now I will install an AUR helper called yay, which is also an AUR repository. So let's download that one using git and the link to the AUR, enter. Perfect, this now created a directory called yay. So let's go inside. Now if I list what's inside, this is actually the whole yay repository that we cloned from git. So let's build it. Make pkg-si. This will build and install yay. Perfect, the helper is installed and now we can use the yay command, which will help us to install GNOME Network Displays. So let's install it, write yay dash capital S and GNOME Network Displays. Enter and install. I want all and no diffs. Yes. And again, yes. Proceed to installation. Yes. Finished. Now, what this yay command did, it downloaded this repository right here, and then it built it and also installed it on my machine. GNOME Network Displays is now installed, but we are not done yet. In addition, we also need to install some runtime dependencies. So let's do pacman s and I will paste in the packages. As you can see, there are like 10 packages and they worked for me, so I will just assume that they will work for you as well. And yes, you will also need to install those if you're using the Flatpak version of the GNOME Network Displays, otherwise it will not work. A bit weird, but it is how it is, so install it. Perfect, we are ready, and now let's try it out. If we go back to the GitLab page, down there you have the testing section and also the debugging section. So if you just want to do a dry run for testing, then you can use this environment variable. So let's copy that and let's go back to the console. I will dock this one here and this one here. Let's clear it. And now I will paste the environment variable and start GNOME Network Displays. Select the screen that you want to share. I will share my built-in display, this one. And now here you can see the available video syncs. Only the dummy sync is available, so let's start this one. I will move this one down. And now the screen is shared on this link up here. So let's copy that one and let's open a new tab. 
You can open this link in the VLC player, but in my case, I will open it using FF Play. FF Play and the link. This is now FF Play sharing my built in screen, and it's actually running in a window, this one. Now let's open some applications there. Calculator. Let's move it there. And here it is. Let's try files. And here we have files. So that's a simple way how you can test if screen sharing is working at all. And using the same link, you can also stream it to other devices that are on your network, which is also cool. Just open the stream using VLC or any other player on the device and you're good to go. It works even with multiple connected devices. Now this is all nice for testing, but we actually want to cast it to an LG TV that's running WebOS. So let's see how that works. Let's close the stream. First, we need to check if our Wi-Fi is peer-to-peer -peer capable, and you can do it using this command right here. Let's copy that. The command is called IW, so let's install that one. pacman-s IW. Perfect. Clear the screen. And now let's paste the command in. So it says you should see something like this, unnamed non-netdev interface, and the type P2P device. And that's exactly what we have here. So if you don't see this section, then unfortunately your Wi-Fi adapter does not support Wi-Fi Direct. In that case, you cannot cast your display directly to a different device. The only thing that will work for you is the link to a stream that I've shown previously. In my case, Wi-Fi Direct is supported, so let's turn on the LG TV and let's try it out. So I will turn on my TV, and now let's run GNOME Network Displays. This time I'm not using the command line. Let's share my built-in display. And now here, as you can see, it already recognized my LG TV. Let's connect to it and I will switch to the other camera. So let's connect, starting to stream. GNOME Network Displays is now connecting to my LG TV running WebOS. And this is now the screen that I'm sharing on my desktop PC. Everything seems to work just fine, but the only problem that I have is that I cannot see the mouse cursor. So I constantly need to look at my desktop screen just to see what I'm actually clicking. As far as I have researched, this seems to be a bug that the GNOME team is aware of. So hopefully this will be fixed in the next release. But apart from that, the latency, the overall performance seems actually pretty great. That's it. Now let's stop the streaming and let's exit. I showed you how you can set up GNOME network displays on Arch Linux. Now let's get over to Ubuntu and let's see how to set it up there. Here we are inside Ubuntu, this one is Ubuntu 23.04 and it's actually running from a USB drive. So it's not a live USB drive, but an actual Ubuntu install on a USB drive. In a previous video, I showed you how you can install full Ubuntu on a USB drive. So if you want to have a portable Ubuntu on a USB drive yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Now let's install GNOME Network Displays. I will open the terminal. Now the easiest way to install GNOME Network Displays on Ubuntu is to use just sudo apt install. So you would do something like sudo apt install GNOME Network Displays. This will install it and it should usually work, but for me this one worked only on X11 and not on Wayland. So if you're using Xorg or X11, then go for it. But for me, I will skip this one and instead I will install the Flatpak version. So let's do install Flatpak. Perfect. Now let's add the Flathub repo. And now we can install GNOME Network Displays from Flathub. Enter and install. Perfect. GNOME Network Displays is installed. And now let's run the Flatpak version of GNOME Network Displays using the dummy mode. So let's run it. Enter. Again, I will choose the built-in display and share. And now as you can see, we have two dummy syncs here. One is the Chromecast sync and the other one is the WFT sync. The Chromecast sync didn't work for me, so I'm not really sure what that one is. So I will select dummy WFT. And now we need to connect to the stream, new tab, and write FF Play and the same local host link that we used on Arch, enter. And here is now my second screen. Let's again open a text editor and let's drag it down there. So here it is. And let's also open the calculator. And here it is. Now, if you want to stop the streaming, let's cancel this one. And let's also quit FF Play. Perfect. 
If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. As I mentioned, this Ubuntu desktop is running from a USB drive and in a previous video I also showed you how you can boot the full Ubuntu desktop from RAM only, which makes it very fast but also you need a lot of RAM for it. So if you're interested how to boot the full Ubuntu desktop from RAM only, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, you also have a super thanks down there where you can buy me a coffee, for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.